Hello students, let us take a look at the fourth question of exercise 15.1 of chapter 15. So it states that three coins are tossed simultaneously 200 times with the following frequencies of different outcomes. So here is the frequency table that it states that when you toss two, uh, three coins 200 times, the number of times of occurrence of three heads would be together. That means you will get a head, head, head. You're tossing three coins, right? So you're tossing three coins. First of all, what are the possible outcome for one coin? It will be either head or tail. So what are the possible outcome for three coins? You can either get head, head, head. You can get either tail, tail, tail. You can get head, tails, head. Then head, head, tails. And tail, heads, heads. Also, you can get tail, heads, heads. Tail, tail, heads, tail, heads, tails, and head, tails, tails. So these are the possible outcomes that you will get when you toss three coins simultaneously. Now out of, three, uh, out of 200 times, the frequency of occurrence of three heads, that means head, head, head is going to occur how many times? 33, 23 times, then two heads. So two heads, let's check where you have two heads. You have two heads in these places. This occurrence is going to happen 72 times. So this is 23, this is 72, and one head. So where do we have one head? We have one head over here. This occurrence is going to happen 77 times. And where you get no head at all, the occurrence is going to be 28 times. So out of 200 tosses of three coins uh, tossed simultaneously, the number of times you will get a head, head, head is 23 times, tail, 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 that tail, 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 or uh, no heads is 28, then twice heads is 72, and single time heads is 77, right? Now, it, what they're saying is if the three coins are simultaneously tossed again, compute the probability of two heads coming up. So this statement is slightly confusing when it states that the coins are tossed again. So you must be wondering that we will have to add another one to this count, right? 200. But no, we are not going to add this because we are getting a frequency, right? That out of 200, the number of times that uh, if, you to if you're tossing the coins uh, 200 times, the number of times you will get two heads is 72. So we are, this is like an average that you find. So even for this, you're going to take the number of times that you get two heads upon the total count. So instead of this statement, the question could simply uh, would, could have simply been compute the probability of two heads coming up. So this section is just to confuse you from here to here. All right, so let's go ahead and write, uh, write the solution. I'll say, number of times coin is tossed is equal to 200. Let's mark this as 1. Then frequency or number of occurrence of two heads is equal to 72. Let's mark this as 2. Therefore, the frequency of occurrence of two heads is going to be 2 divided, equation 2 divided by equation 1. So, probability of two heads coming up is going to be equation 2 divided by equation 1 which is going to be 72 upon 200. So you can cancel 200s are and 2 3s are 6, 2 6s are 12. So this is 36 upon 100. You can write this as 0 0.36 or you can cancel this further. 4 9s are 36 and 4 25s are 100. So 0 0.36 or 9 upon 25, either will do. This is the solution to your question. So please take a look. Thank you for watching this video.
Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.